Hello everyone, Daryl here along with Doug and we're with Pier Michigan Advanced Auto Parts and they're having a little car show here in the parking lot today and we had to stop because we saw this Bronco and you know Doug's got a Bronco so we had to get over here and show you guys this really awesome giant Bronco. You can see how big the wheels are with Doug standing next to him. And this thing's really nicely detailed and I mean, this is a nice vehicle. They got a lot of money in this. Go underneath it and see all the chrome and uh, different part. Look at those shocks and springs on this thing. It's an amazing vehicle here. Very amazing. Isn't that cool, Doug? Oh, very, very, very. Cool. These tires probably cost more than any car I own. What, tractor tires. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. The um, things that caught my eye, though, this wasn't really this at first. Doug really saw this right away and really liked it, but there's some special cars over here you don't see very often, and there's actually four of them here, which really surprises me. Um, first, we'll look at this Pontiac, or, yes, this Oldsmobile Starfire right here. It looks like about a 63 or 64 Oldsmobile Starfire. Beautifully conditioned and nice interior. Oldsmobile sports car from back in the early 60s. Look at that. Very, very nice. But the thing I was interested in most was this Pontiac Can-Ams. And for those of you who don't know, the Can-Am was a sporty version of the Pontiac Le Mans that was built only for a couple of years, I believe, like 76 and 77 or 75, 76. I don't remember the years on these, but they're very limited production. There's not that many of these out and around. And to see four of them here in one spot is really, really amazing. They all had the same color paint, the same trim options with the 6.6 .6 liter, like a 403 cubic inch V8. The vast majority of the ones I've ever seen have had the red burgundy interior with the bucket seats and the console floor shift. And they're just very rare cars. They're just not that common at all to see. And it's quite a treat to see so many of them here together. That's, that's amazing. Hmm. Oh, this one has a custom interior on it. Alright. This one's not a can am this one's a clone. <laughs> Yeah, we're just walking and looking, and then there's a... BMW. Is that what that is, a BMW? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I've seen the tires. I believe you, yes, oh, I believe you. Oh, that's the rims, yep. All right, okay. The front threw me off with all the badges on the front, but... Oh, yes, yeah, so the BMW. The Europeans seem to like these badges. You see them a lot on Mercedes, Jaguars, BMWs. I don't know what they all mean, but I guess just different clubs they belong to. But that one... Um, can-am we saw back there with a the white interior that one's not a genuine can-am that's a reproduction that's been mocked up from um, a basic Pontiac coupe I love these old Chevy pickup trucks look at that isn't that nice with a matching trailer that's really nice it's got a non-factory motor too in it <laughs> no. uh, yeah that is definitely not the motor this came with but it certainly would be fun to drive I'm sure Oh, he's got air on it, too, look. He does. Most people, when they build a hot rod, build it like air conditioning, delete, but some people want the modern functionality and comfort when they're driving their classic car, and I can appreciate that. <laughs> I like these old trucks, though. They're really basic on the inside. Very basic, but it's kind of nice how, look how he's got that underneath panel he designed with the air vents coming out of it for the AC. It kind of blends right in. You don't even know the air conditioning's been added on. Wow. There's no radio on this either. This is a radio delete. Well, the radios weren't very common on pickup trucks back in the day, so it doesn't surprise me that there's no radio. The hardwood bed, which was very common on pickup trucks right through the 1960s. And then, of course, we've got the 57 Chevy over here. And the other side of that is a Nash Metropolitan which you don't see a lot of out and around anymore either. So. That's the thing to have to learn from everybody around. 
Isn't it wonderful? What? All the things you want to see. Right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look beautiful. at this. Isn't this, isn't this just the cutest thing? Look at that. Just beautifully redone. Let me get a view inside here for you. And a fabulous hood ornament on it. That's a nice car. I love it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the cars today here in Lapeer. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.